Hey guys, Jonathan Aiden here. Today I want to show you how I create drum racks in Ableton Live by recording acoustic instruments that I have here in the studio and then assigning them to a drum pad. So I'm going to take the sound from beautiful instruments such as this djembe and record it into the system, uh, take that audio and then make an expressive drum rack instrument out of it. So let's take a look at the instruments I'm going to use. All right, so I've got them laid out here. We've got three djembe's, large, medium, and small, a tambourine I bought at a music store, a tambourine that was purchased and given to me as a gift uh, that was purchased in an Egyptian market. Really interesting, unique sound to this one. This is sort of a uh, tambourine on a stick without a drum head, as you can see. A shaker, uh, which is also from Africa, like the djembe's. Some yoga bells, which I've been using for 10 years or so. Small hand cymbals. And a really unique spade rattle. That's what I call it, spade rattle. I don't even know if there's a name for that thing. So uh, let's get into the sampling process now. All right, I'm gonna start with the large gym bay. I'm going to record four samples from quiet to loud with a simple hit. This thing is so cute. I love it. It sounds great too. Look at it. What is there not to love? So part of what I want to go for with this is to get some kind of different sounds. So I'm going to strike this tambourine with these uh, with this nylon brush. All right, for this one, I'm gonna go with the hand. This has such an interesting sound. All right, so I finished sampling those instruments and now we're gonna get into uh, getting all of the samples in the right place for the touch pads. So we're gonna move over to the Ableton Push and take those samples, put them in the drum rack and get them all lined up. So uh, let's get into it. All right. Here we are. We've got all the samples lined up here. We've got the push 
right here. This is my touchpad interface. Uh, we've got the drum rack in Ableton. So if you look at these 16 squares here, these 16 squares are going to correspond to the lower left corner of this touchpad. And I already have one of these drums set up. So what I did was I dropped four samples into this drum pad here, which corresponds to this one that's lit up. And we've got a very full dynamic range on that djembe there. That's the low djembe. Now, I want to duplicate this because I'm actually going to create two drums out of each drum of different pitches. So I'm going to go to these four samples I have here. I'm going to transpose this down. Let's try doing six steps down. Yeah, that sounds good. We are well on our way. So now I'm going to do this from scratch with the, uh, the medium sized djembe so you can see how I put this together in the drum pad. Some of you might be curious uh, if anybody watching this is an Ableton user. Um, not a lot of people know that you can actually layer different samples in the same drum pad. So this is super useful, leads to a lot of possibilities. Uh, you can layer simultaneous sounds. Uh, and what I'm doing here is actually using the velocities to map a different sample to each velocity. And then I add the fades between them so that as you... Uh, actually, this is really cool. You can see this little line flash. Uh, and for those of you who don't know what velocity is, uh, this is MIDI velocity, uh, musical instrument digital interface velocity. So when I touch this pad, it's detecting anywhere in the range of 1 to 127 levels of how, uh, how hard I push that pad, or how hard I hit the pad. So you can see as I go louder, it goes up further. Right, so I'm gonna go into next one, add the medium djembe to the next pad, and I'm gonna add another one. Here's how you do it, Ableton users. You drag the sample over. In this case, it's the same sample, but uh, if it's a different one, and you hold Command uh, on Mac. I'm not sure what the shortcut is for this on PC. Drop it in. It creates a chain, and I'm just going to duplicate those and go in here, start with my soft sample. Get that lined up. I like to get as close to the beginning of the sound wave as possible with these. Uh, so this line here is the beginning of the sound wave that's triggered when I hit the pad. So I want it to be as instant as possible. So see, even there, barely perceptible, if at all, but there's a little bit of time. So here we go. That's pretty much instantaneous. That's our soft sample. Uh, I'm going to map these velocities as well. So that one's going to be 1 through 32. So I'm going to do a little higher and then fade it down to 28. Next one, I'm going to start at 28 and fade up to 38 believe that's where I put. Sometimes it's hard to tell. There we go. 
So I'm going to do up to 72. Fade it down to 64. You can be very scientific about this and have everything perfectly divided. Uh, I've done that before. I don't feel it's completely necessary. So being slightly sloppy with it, but I don't think this is to any adverse effect. Feel free to tell me if you think otherwise. All right, guys. So as you can see, this is a process. Uh, it's a long process. So I'm going to go off video and set up the rest of these pads. Uh, and I'll be back when I have the whole 16 pad drum pad set up to show you how it works, how it sounds, and to make some beats on it. All right. So I'll see you then. All right, guys, I'm back and I've got all of the samples laid out in the drum pad. So here we go. I made six djembes out of the three drums that I sampled. So I changed the pitch of them so that this first one is uh, lower than the actual drum. That's the actual pitch of the drum. Here's the medium djembe. Two of those and the high djembe. All right, so I'm going to play with a little bit more of the dynamics, the volume levels with these. So you can hear it's very expressive. It's a very flexible instrument that I've created with those samples. Uh, next up, we got the tambourines. Really great variety of sound with those two tambourines there. Now this one, actually, I EQ'd this. You can see it on the screen here. I did a very drastic EQ to bring out more of the uh, the the little uh, they're like the little symbols on the side of the tambourine. Um, I didn't do that with this one. I'm wondering if I might sort of uh, drag this EQ over to that. I'm probably gonna have to make some adjustments. Yeah, I definitely don't like that as much. Similar. Yeah, so we get a little more. Uh, now, this thing I'm pointing at here, uh, this is the uh, spectrum of human hearing. So over here are the lowest sounds in the hearing range. Uh, this is sort of the range of the human voice. And then up here are high sounds, bird songs, and uh, lots of really wonderful noise and high-pitched effects that blend in with music and sounds to create unique uh, unique timbres, unique qualities of sounds. So I raised this up over here, uh, basically raises the volume of those higher frequencies. So uh, drop this back down. All right, I'm really happy with the way the tambourine rolls turned out. So I set it up so you can hit, uh, do single hits. Yeah, so it has a really cool effect uh, sitting at once. And uh, you can also hold it. And you can see here. That's not the smoothest loop, but I kind of like the effect of it. That one's got a smoother loop. 
All right, over here, we've got the shaker. Spade rattle. Um, then the rolls for each of those. Also set that up so it works really well to hit it once. And to hold, and it will loop infinitely. That one I did two samples on. And then over here we got finger symbols. Range of dynamics there. And then the yoga bells. The highest velocity one has quite a complex sound. Very long ring. All right, so I think it's about time to make a beat. So I'm going to set a metronome here. Sounds like a good tempo to me. Fix that one note that I hit slightly off. I'm just going to do it on the computer screen. I'm literally jamming on this drum rack for the first time. I didn't practice at all. So it's a little bit sloppy, a little bit rough, but uh, I'm having fun. I hope it's fun for you guys to see where I've taken this from the recording session I did earlier to creating this electronic instrument. All right, so I'm going to play a little bit more, make some more beats, and just run a show of that for the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoy.
So that last instrument you heard me playing on the keyboard is another instrument I created uh, in Ableton out of glass fish bowls. So uh, please leave a comment below if you'd like to see me make a video about that. Uh, while you're here, click subscribe. Uh, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, uh, anything. Love to hear from you. And please subscribe while you're here. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. All right. Peace.